All right, folks, here I go again with another beautiful, gorgeous 2007 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor with 57,000 miles and only 360 idle hours. From the city of Long Beach, California, that is correct. This is a California unit and it has no rust on her whatsoever. This was a former detective unit, not a patrol, original black from factory vehicle does have tiny little scratches and i do have some door dings but nothing big or major to worry about vehicle has been completely serviced detail and she is in immaculate running condition and shape and ready to go to her new home folks once again vehicle does have 57,000 miles all original with only 360 idle hours folks as you can see this vehicle does not have window tint uh, every now and then uh, I will get a request or a question people asking me how come I'm always getting the windows tinted well you know what <laughs> I'm gonna say that's my preference but you know what right here BAM I left those alone I'm leaving the windows alone so there is no tint but let's just say that you are a, a potential customer and you want to get the windows tinted that is something that I can have done for you that's not a problem Folks, vehicle is in immaculate running condition and shape as, as it should be with that many miles on there. They're all original, clean, clear title. This was not a salvage vehicle or a crash unit. Uh, this is what you see is what you're going to get. Police interceptor badging intact and in perfect shape. One hole in the trunk lid where this actually on, actual antenna is. I like to put this in place just to cover the hole. I do have two door dings right here on the trunk lid. Two little door things right there and I think another one right here all right folks once again the vehicle has not been completely repainted so therefore please expect to see some scratches and door things on the vehicle okay I'm thinking about maybe calling my dent remover guy and see how much of it he can go ahead and uh, remove without breaking my bank I do have some scuff marks on the rear bumper, folks. Scuff marks right there in the rear bumper. You can see that right there. Uh, let me get closer here. I do have another one right here and one right here. The light is intact. It is not broken, but it's got the little scuff mark right there. All right, you guys can see that right there. I do have some door dings here in the quarter panel, but maybe two on the on the rear right door and about maybe three on the front right door right there folks um, letting you know what I see here in the paint the vehicle is black so there's a lot of details that do hide if I don't get up close and personal I'm gonna miss them you can kind of see them through the lens right there folks once again everything that I'm seeing here I'm letting you know um, as I walk around the vehicle all right let's continue once again, because this was a detective unit, it doesn't have any spotlights. Perfect. And let me tell you folks, if you, <laughs> if you put a window tent on this vehicle, she will look even better. You know what, I'm questioning myself why I didn't get it done, but uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to let the new customer decide what they want to do. I do have a, a brand new set of uh, original equipment headlamps on the front. The ones that came with the vehicle, they were yellow, yellowish and oxidated. So uh, I did have my last pair and I used, them, um, I used them on this vehicle. So you do have new headlamps assembly with new bulbs all around. These are new. Four logo right there. This is not aftermarket. Once again, new headlamps, new bulbs all around. Perfect uh, front grill, honeycomb grill. Everything does work in the vehicle, folks. Everything does work in the vehicle. And before I forget, three things. Let me stop right here. The front, the front bumper was repainted due to uh, clear coat damage. All right. On top of the bumper right here, it was white. That means that the clear coat had already been burnt and it was damaged there was no coming back so i did have the front bumper cover repainted and i also had the roof 
redone, repainted. The roof was redone for the same reason. I did have clear coat damage in the back, somewhere there, so we did the whole roof. There you go, folks. I couldn't let the car go with those little uh, big details for me and too particular for something like that, so I went ahead and expended the extra money in order for the whole car to look very nice and the way she actually looks right now. The third thing is, I do have a uh, semi-new set of uh, Goodyear Eagles IRSAs here, courtesy of the, uh, the Long Beach Police Department. DOT on these tires are going to be 2020. Once again, DOT on the tires are 2020, and we're talking about maybe 90% thread on them. So they are very, very meaty. We're going to take you inside. Folks, look at the paint. The paint looks great. And once again, folks, it does have scratches and door dings, okay? You can see one ding right there as well. I can see it. Once again, this vehicle was not fully painted. I only had the front bumper cover painted and the roof to clean up the how to clean up that look that he had, the clear coat damage. Unit number 17625. Once again, Long Beach PD. Let's go inside, folks. The clock is ticking, so I need to step it up. Folks, if you guys stay with me here, you guys are going to see that the vehicle does have a perfect, perfect interior. All seat belts and buckles are in place. Carpeting floor from the front factory with all four matching OEM floor mats as well. Rear door locks are fully functional from inside and out of the vehicle. So if you do have passengers on the rear, they'll be able to exit on their own. Electric seating, folks. Also, this is gonna be a Charlie 6 C6 rear axle. That's gonna be the 355 uh, differential. Folks, I do show some tear on the uh, driver's side floor mat, as suspected, right on the heel pad right there. Driver's side seat is in perfect condition. I do have a nice aftermarket new center console here. New aftermarket center console here, the perfect color combo. Passenger side seat is in perfect shape. I don't think ever, anybody ever sat there. Vehicle does have working cruise control. Honk, does work. Once again, unit number 17625. Perfect dash, folks. No holes on this bad boy whatsoever. No holes on this dashboard whatsoever. AM FM CD, CD player here, factory, came with the vehicle. Vehicle does have a new use OEM Astro assembly. Vehicle did not have one upon arrival, so I, lucky for me, I, I did use my last one. And uh, here she goes, all right? One key, folks. Vehicle does have one key. This is gonna be an independent key. Let's go ahead and fire her up. Pressure lights are off. All right, started with the idle hours. Vehicle does have 57,000 miles. So far, I drove from the shop to my house, reset the clock. I'm at nine miles driven, 361, <coughs> correction, 361 idle hours. Stereo does work. YouTube, I do not own the rights to the song. YouTube, I do not own the rights to the song. Red LED works. White LED works. Map lights, sticker lights, everything does work. Let's get to the trunk and the hood of the V uh, under the hood and show you guys what was done as my timer keeps running down. Oh my goodness. Let me hurry it up. Folks, perfect. Decent size. Uh, trunk spare tire uh, it's actually a new used one I just got it in today I went to pick it up I was in a rush so I got it I put it in hold down pen and floor jack it's in place so the it's a matching spare tire and wheel all right so there you go folks that is the trunk
Oh, Ouch. Dad grabbed my finger. God darn it. All right, folks, my detail crew did, my detail crew did an amazing job bringing this vehicle back to life as they do to every car that comes through here. So uh, they are not cheap, they are pretty expensive. And uh, you know what, if the, quality of job, if the quality of their work is great, I don't mind paying the price. So starting right to left, air, air filter appeared to be in new condition from the department, so it was checked, I left it alone. Throttle body was serviced and cleaned out. I do have full synthetic 520 oil service that was done. I do have eight new Motocraft Platinum spark plugs. Transmission service was done on this unit. Motocraft Mark on 5 fluid and, fil and filter. New battery from the department. The vehicle also does, does have a new receiver and dryer. You can kind of see it over there. Well, you kind of can because it's kind of dark. The vehicle does have a brand new receiver and dryer so the air conditioner is nice and cold as it should be. If I can come over here, folks, once again, I did get in between the uh, radiator and condenser, clean all the dust bunnies out of there so that so the, the car can breathe a heck of a lot better. And don't worry, I do have the clips for the radiator support. Everything will be in place. Brakes are about 80% all around and I didn't have to do any brakes, okay? So here she goes, folks. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, uh, please do not hesitate to give me a call. Dry belt is actually in pretty decent shape, so I went ahead and left that alone along with the tensioner and pulley. All right, folks, this is the Crown Victoria guy signing off and I ran out of time. Once again, folks, this is the Crown Victoria guy signing off. You guys have yourself a great weekend out there and please be safe. Take care.